Hey guys, welcome back to the Albanian Way and today we're going to be taking a look at the whining noise of my BMW E92 328i. The whining noise happened primarily on cold startup, so whenever the car was cold it would make this whining noise and uh, whenever the car started to warm up the whining noise gradually would disappear. Initially I thought the whining noise came from the transmission but then I noticed that whenever I turned the steering wheel to the far left or to the far right the whining noise would get even louder and so since that has to do with the power steering fluid and the pump um, I took a look at the fluid and it was very brown so my guess was the pump was literally crying for help because it could not push the gunk around the compartments so, as you saw at the beginning of the video, um, I was trying to clean the cap of the power steering reservoir and also I was trying to clean mostly around the reservoir as you could see on video because when you open the cap you don't want any speck of dust or dirt to fall into the reservoir. So here I am trying to get the plastic cover underneath the car off so we can get to the actual power steering rack and from there we can loosen up the bolt. and it's easy to do because if you have your car on jack stands and the wheels are basically in the air then they are easy to move back and forth and as you can see the oil fluid is still trying to uh, drip out there and you can tell by the color that it's still brown it still needs uh, the fresh fluid to make its way down there and here I am actually turning the steering wheel left and right because I figured it's way faster this way than to push the tires by hand. Here's the golden moment where you can see the fresh fluid uh, green color pouring out finally after probably uh, 15 to 20 minutes of turning the wheel back and forth. And keep in mind I kept on looking at the level at the reservoir and I kept on adding fluid as I was uh, turning back and forth. And right there where you see my hand going through is where the location is for the screw to uh, tighten it back in there. And I could not get a better view because the catch pan for the fluid was in the way. And here's where you can see the actual location of the screw because I moved the catch pan away and you get a better view here. On the next clip you might want to turn down the volume a little bit because I'm turning the car on and I want to show you the whining noise that it still was having until the fluid was rushing through the comp each compartment.
at this point the noise is almost completely gone and I'm checking around the bolt for any leaks. Here I'm checking to see if the fluid is still fresh and new and it hasn't mixed up with some old residue that probably wasn't picked up. So this is it. Wasn't too bad at all. It's fairly simple and easy to do actually. Um, this is my very first time to do this and after of course looking online and see what's the proper way to do it, I found that this is the best way to actually drain the oil fluid from your system if you go to the actual rack at the bottom where, where it's the lowest point of the fluid to um, drain out. Because some other videos that I'm seeing is they actually pump out the fluid from the reservoir above. So basically you pump it out, you fill it, you turn the wheel, it mixes up, you pump it out again and you keep refilling it and repumping out. So basically you keep on mixing the fluid inside until it kind of starting to look fresher. Um, I mean, that's another way to do it. But to me, it didn't feel like it will get rid of complete uh, the gunk that it has at the bottom of the rack, for example. Um, I mean, mind you, this is not the, the perfect solution either probably, but I think it's much better than taking out the fluid from a, uh, with a pump from the reservoir because this way it's actually the you drain the whole fluid out of the system and replacing it with a fresh new fluid instead of uh, mixing it up with the old fluid and keep on pumping it and you know until I don't know it, it doesn't seem uh, it doesn't make sense to me at least so this is the way I like to do it and this is the way I went and uh, it turned out pretty good well, thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video, please subscribe, like or share.